People tell me all the time they need to learn Linux and they want to learn Linux basics. Well, if you want to learn how to use Linux and you need to know Linux basics, a great way to start is NDG's new Linux Essentials course. It's a free course and anyone can sign up online for free. The course is delivered through the web browser. You can see I have it open here. I'm in chapter four and I'm learning the chapter on command line skills. The text is here on the left and you can see it's broken into chapter sections. And on the right, the course provides an embedded Linux virtual machine right in the browser window. So I can click right in here, hit enter, and I can start typing Linux commands right here into this virtual machine embedded right into the browser. Now this is really useful because as you're learning concepts like right now the concept of globbing or wildcards and how the shell interprets wildcards, I can just, as I read through the text, I can practice the commands on the right. So for instance here, we're gonna use an asterisk wildcard. So I'll practice it. I'll type echo root etc. And then if I wanna find all of the files in the etc directory that begin with t, I'll put in the character T followed by my asterisk wildcard and hit enter. And you can see there's two files in ETC that begin with T, term info and time zone. So it's that simple. I can practice what I'm reading about and learning right here in the browser window. I don't have to set up anything. I don't even have to be running Linux because I can do it from any web browser. So this is really useful. It's a 70 hour course. It's aligned to the Linux Professional Institute Certificate Objectives for Linux Essentials. There's chapter exams, there's chapter labs, and it's really easy to use. You can see here that we can look here, there's chapter objectives, key terms, and the content that I can scroll through. And it's super easy to sign up. Once again, you can sign up for free online. Let me show you how that's done. To sign up for the course, just use the following link pictured here and also listed in the description below the video. You can also go directly to netacad.com where you'll find NDG's Linux Essentials under Courses. And you can see it's a self-paced course, so I can enroll right here through the browser. If I click Enroll, I'll have to create an account, provide my first name, last name, email address, and some text verification, and I can enroll in the course right here. And I don't need to be affiliated with a college or with a Cisco Academy. I can just self-enroll right here online. Anyone can do it. And I can start learning Linux. Not only that, if we go back and take a look at the courses again, you'll see that not only is there this 70 hour Linux basics course called NDG's Linux Essentials, but NDG also offers Introduction to Linux 1 and Introduction to Linux 2. Now this is a little more involved set of courses that map to the Linux Professional Institute's LPIC 1 certification exams. So NDG's Introduction to Linux, I'll click Learn More. And you can see a little course summary here. Notice Introduction to Linux 1, a 70-hour course, and Introduction to Linux 2 is another 70-hour course. And they prepare you for Exam 101 and Exam 102 of the Linux Professional Institute's LPIC 1 certification. The courses also prepare you for CompTIA's Linux Plus powered by LPI certification exams the LX0103 and the LX0104. Now these courses, there is a fee for these courses of $39.95 that is paid or collected by NDG, but you can do all of that right here through the browser. Once you've self-enrolled in these courses, all you need to do is go to netacad.com and log in And after you log in, I'll go to my Netacad, and you can see right here that I've signed up for NDG's Linux Essentials, and I've got 
also NDG Linux 2 and NDG Linux 1, which I've paid for and I'm actively going through the content right now. So this is really useful. I'll click on NDG's Linux Essentials here and go back in. And once you're in, all you need to do to get around is click here in the Content Management System. From here, I can open up the Chapter Modules. You can see here it's all chapter based with a chapter exam for each module. The chapter exams are self grading and you can take them up to 28 times. Every time you take a chapter exam, you'll be presented with new questions or the questions will be reworded or in a new random order. So it's useful to retake the chapter exams multiple times because you'll get a different feel each time you take it. Under Assignments, there's Labs. You can see a lab starting here on Chapter 4, and the lab is a step-by-step -step lab that focuses on the types of configuration commands that you're going to use based on what you learned in the chapter. There's a midterm, there's a final exam, and all of this, once again, is self-paced. You can go at your own pace, and you don't need anyone to activate anything. You can do this all yourself and it's built right here into the browser. So for instance, I'll go back to modules and let's say I want to get back to chapter four. I'll click on chapter four and I'm back in the curriculum. When you're in the curriculum, you can drag this window and if you get it just right, you can make the virtual machine slightly bigger in the window so it's easier to see. So this is a quick introduction to Linux Essentials by NDG, free Linux Basics course online that you can sign up for for free, as well as Linux Intro 1 and Linux Intro 2, which are great if you're planning on getting certified in Linux. I'm planning on using these courses this semester in my classes.